This is the second video in our series covering managing databases in the G1000 NXI. The first video should be viewed prior to this video to ensure your understanding of the FlyGarmin account setup process. To demonstrate the SD card database update process, we'll use the steps in the SD card handout as we install a new database to our aircraft. The first step is to ensure the battery one switch is in the off position. Then we place the SD card with our new database into the bottom SD card slot of the MFD. Now we can move the battery one switch to the on position. Once the system is ready, press the enter key or the rightmost soft key on the MFD display to load your crew profile and then press the enter key to sequence through the fuel loading screen. Then turn the large FMS knob to select the aux page group on the MFD followed by turning the small FMS knob to select the database page on the MFD. Now we can monitor the update status on the top of the database page display. Wait for the database update to complete, indicated by the Restart Avionics message being displayed. Verify the correct database cycle information is shown in the Standby Database column. A cyan double arrow will appear between the standby and active columns to show which standby databases will be transferred to active at the next power cycle. And then press the restart soft key. A 10 second countdown timer will appear. When you see that, turn the small FMS knob to select restart and then press the enter key. And then remove the SD card from the bottom slot of the MFD. It's not necessary to leave it in the bezel, as checklists and databases are stored internally in the NXI system. After the system restarts, turn the large FMS knob and select the aux page group on the MFD. Then turn the small FMS knob and select the databases page. The last step in the process is to verify that any standby databases transferred are now in the active database column. If you have additional databases that were downloaded from Jeppesen, you would use the same installation process using the SD card containing the Jeppesen databases. The method you've just seen for installing databases to the G1000 NXI can be used for any update cycle and is the recommended method for installing large file database updates, such as the IFR VFR charts and the terrain database. Both of these files are fairly large and will transfer faster from an SD card than through the Flightstream 510 using database concierge. This completes our demonstration of installing databases using an SD card. If you'll be using the database concierge to conduct database updates, be sure to view the third video in this series.